Well, we got some more turkeys here, guys. <clears throat> This is Monday, October 27th, 2014, about 12.30 in the afternoon, Eastern Daylight Time. I, I stepped out and went down to the truck to retrieve something, and they were right out there by the front door, and they, they sort of, they didn't scamper off, but they, they moved off a little bit, but then they sort of just wandered along, and I thought, well, you know, I can, I can go and get the camera right now, but by the time I get back, they'd be gone. I knew they'd eventually come back a little bit. Well, they're getting pretty well out of sight now. Hi Paul. Hi Joe. He he uh Paul Paul's been doing battle here with the folks about his car loan, which it turns out only has a interest rate of four point four one percent, so he he wasn't getting nearly as hosed on that as we thought. Or I thought. No. But it turns out this this outfit stuck in on a an, you know, a charge of $3,500 for an extended warranty, which he had not specifically authorized, so... You know, let, let, let all car buyers beware on that one, you know. That's, that was rather nefarious of them, I thought. What do you think about it, Paul? Yeah. Oh, there it is. That's the word. Now you can see these guys. They look really tall, don't they? Um, they aren't that tall, although they're quite big birds. They're uh, standing up on uh, a couple of rocks, large, very large rocks. We have a series of large rocks up there in that little woods there just north of the dog fence. And, um, you know, in in older days and among people who were a little bit more, how should we say, less socially enlightened or tolerant, uh, these rocks were called by a very offensive, well, yes, very offensive racial name involving ahead and uh, in any case they're standing on them I suppose making good use of them there's actually a market for these things as far as uh, landscaping. yeah landscape yeah landscaping stuff goes in fact what was it oh Ron yeah Ron our neighbor's ex-husband from across the road, he saw a couple of these things up out there in my front field, and he said, "Could he have them?" I said, "Yeah." So he he got got a truck in there and got some guys to hoist these things into the back of his truck or that truck anyway. And uh, well, that's sweet. Yeah, okay. Well, he uh, he was very happy about that. He uh, he said the landscaper's going to charge him $6,000 to stick a couple, three of these things in front of his house there in one of these high-end subdivisions just north of us. <laughs> there you go. Well, we're out front. Now, today's activities have revolved around trying to find a new uh, little deal with a, this power adapter conundrum. I uh, I went down to the Apple store at, at the 
inspection place today and uh, there have been turkeys around here. I tend to gaze about a bit. In any case, I went down there and uh, just after they opened around 10 and uh, I duly got this, it's called a MagSafe Power Adapter. And that's the one that's got this neat little, they call it an L-shaped thing that connects into the magnetic port on the side of a MacBook Pro. Well, what I had forgotten was that the MacBook Pro with the retina display has a T-shaped display. And they call that MagSafe 2. Well, that's the one that tends to fray because, you know, essentially you're having a right angle here. We're going to get a lot of wind noise here, I'm afraid. But to make, to make things simple, uh, I got home and discovered this new thing wouldn't, wouldn't fit. But I also got thinking, there's got to be an adapter, and I found an adapter, and so I ordered this adapter. And so I'll still be able to have the L-shaped configuration such that the cord won't bend. Uh, and I can use the new, the new adapter in the case that my old one is defective. I, I don't know whether it is or not. We'll see. In any case, no reason not to have a an adapter here, an adapter there. Uh, well, you've seen our three turkeys that I've been showing you. This is going to be very windy. It's this wonderful southwest wind. We're up to, we're almost up to 72 right now. I may have to take off my seed consultant's jacket. I may have to take off this long underwear shirt. Who knows? Let's see if there's any mail. Um, there might be. This time of the month, there generally isn't all that much. Fortunately. Let's find out. Let's see. Well, we've got uh, we've got some political ads, several political ads actually. Oh. Well, they gone near all of them are from or political ads here. I suppose if I had voted early, I wouldn't be getting these because generally once you vote early, they stop sending you this nonsense. But I kind of like the ritual of going up to the actual precinct and voting, you know, with my own precinct. You know, over the, the 30, let's see if I dropped anything here. Yeah, I guess not. We're okay. Over the 30 some years we've been up here, it's always been interesting to see what poll workers stay and what poll workers go. Boy, there was this one individual who was really obnoxious for well over 25 years, but she finally, well, she finally stopped showing up. I don't think she died. I think, I think her obvious state of dementia became so obvious that they sort of told her to not come back.
She used to be, she was one of the original township trustees when we came up here and she was, well, she was just a very unpleasant individual. <laughs> All right. No oh, good, that'll give you a little, I know it's windy. Still, it's a beautiful, 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 beautiful day. We just had a, uh, we just had a very bizarre thing happen. Uh, the phone rang and uh, on the caller ID it came up as my, my phone number and then my name, Joe S. Kersey. As if I had been calling myself and I thought, well, maybe my new phone had somehow, you know, called me. But then the caller ID wouldn't have been that phone number, that would have been the cell phone number. And so I let, you know, I let it go to, to see if they were going to talk to the machine. And, and it was, it was, it's some sort of telemarketing thing where somehow they, they put your own name and number up there to pique your interest. A lot of bunch of low lives. <laughs> well, it's election season, isn't it? Well, so uh, I, I showed you initially uh, this 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 box of the eighty-five watt MagSafe power adapter. Now you can see that the central feature of this, as far as I'm concerned, is the L-shaped. Thing that connects into the magnetic port of a MacBook of some variety. And I like the fact that the, 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 the cord comes in that way. So I, in my innocence, and not doing enough online research, it's, it's, it's my fault. It's absolutely my fault. On the other hand, this has this this has a happy ending at the end. Uh, so I bought one of these things. Uh, well, I told you I bought it, but they wouldn't give it to me on Sunday. So I went down this morning and collected it. And I got home and I was all excited. I'm going to attach this. And we'll see what happens. Well, you know, it's a new piece of equipment. You always are that, that way, isn't it? And, uh, uh, well, as it turns out, uh, it wouldn't fit into my, my, my port, you know? I, obviously, I, I just hadn't realized that you need to have, unfortunately, all of the things that fit into the MacBook Pro Retina ports have, are that T, T thing so that when you bend that wire around it tends to make that wire free. I don't like that. Plus I just don't like that. So I got this uh, thing. I, I, you know, and, I, and I thought, oh, do I have to take it back? What should I do? What should I do? And I got to think, There's got to be an adapter. And there is an adapter. There's a mag a MagSafe adapter to a MagSafe 2 adapter. Now the MagSafe 2 adapter is the straight on thing. Well, it's not, it has nothing to do necessarily with the straight on thing, but it has to do with the fact that the MagSafe 2 adapter is a slightly bigger adapter than the MagSafe, you know, it's not called MagSafe 1, but we'll call it MagSafe 1 adapter. So, I mean, uh, for an extra 20 bucks on top of the cost of this adapter, I'm, I'm going to get something that'll keep that, that cord out of the way. So, we'll see. Meanwhile, the thing is hissing away merrily. And uh, that's, that's going to be solved here in the next week or so. <laughs> a 
Well, Paul actually, uh, Paul went went and investigated his loon. You know, now we had said originally in, on his truck that his loon was like around 8%. Well, it turns out it's 4.41%, which is not an unreasonable bank loan for a automobile or, you know, a truck or, you know, a vehicle loan. But then he got looking at his paperwork more closely, and it turns out that these guys, these guys had slipped in a $3,500 extended warranty which he was unaware of. Uh, it was found when he, he went down to consult with uh, his uh, credit union about rearranging the loan, and this guy reviewed the paperwork with him, and it turns out that this somewhere along the line, they've slipped in an extra $3,500 charge at the dealership, but they didn't tell him about it. Now, yes, he, he signed the papers and this, that, and the other, and all that. But they had not explained the fact that he had this extended warranty, you know, which amounts to sort of a lifetime warranty, for $3,500 tacked onto the loan. Now, I, I just wonder who's going to be getting that feedback. So anyway, so he, he's going to go up there tomorrow and have that thing canceled. You know, it's, there's just low lives out there lurking in every corner, guys. Low lives lurking in every corner. Uh, it's a good thing this credit union guy, you know, found that out. Otherwise, Paul would have been, you know, it, it turns out that this reduces his monthly payment by about $150. It's just, that's just awful. That's just awful. Let, let the Ohio Attorney General hear about this, huh? I don't like Mike DeWine, but let the Ohio Attorney General, because he's mean, but let the Ohio Attorney General deal with this. <laughs> well, uh, well, now I've gotten all exercised. But that's about it, I think. Here, we'll, we'll give you another. We'll give you another shot of this thing, which actually it's been a mixed blessing, you know, because with my adapter, I'm going to be having a good, good time of it. <laughs>